Hi, everybody. Welcome to Take 10. This is a program of cooperation with the Joplin Globe, Jet 14, and Joplin Schools. I'm Bruce Vonderhaar. This week, we're going to talk some Missouri Southern Lions baseball. Once again, joining us is Missouri Southern head baseball coach Bryce Darnell. And coach, I uh, wanted to have you in this week because you just got off a big uh, four-game series with Pittsburgh State, a series where you took three out of four. So um, you guys continue to play well, but that was a big series for you guys um, to play well, and you did. You got the sweep Friday in Pittsburgh, then split Saturday. Just talk about the, the four games in general and how satisfied you are to well, get that three out of four. I mean, uh, Saturday we, uh, you know, we hit the ball real well, and they helped us out. They kicked it around a little bit, it made some errors for us. But you know, the goal every weekend is to win the series, and that's uh, what we were able to do. Saturday we uh, got off to a little slow start, and they, uh, Tim Brown's an excellent pitcher for Pitt State, and and uh, you know we gave him a little rope, and he took it, and and. Uh, he, he pitched real well against us, but we came back and uh, were able to was able to split, and so we're happy with taking three or four. Your offense, uh, getting back to Friday, scored 16 runs in the first game, 12 in the second game. Um, the the double header was just tons of, and, and usually there at Pittsburgh we see a lot of offense, mm -hmm. but but uh, man, you guys were really on, explosive on Friday. At, yeah, at and Pittsburgh. we had a lot of things go right for us. You know, we hit some gaps and and uh, had some guys up in the right spot and. We also bunted well, which is uh, you know helps extend innings. I think we had three or four base hit bunts on on Friday, which which helps extend innings and get other guys to to the plate to to keep things going. But you're right, and, and Saturday was a bit more of a yeah. pitcher's duel, and uh, but you know the way baseball is, you're not going to hit every day, and so uh, you know Saturday is probably more typical of a college baseball game. And to and to Pittsburgh's credit, really, they got blown out Friday, came back and 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 won the first game on Saturday, came back and showed a lot of heart there, but then. To your credit, you go out there and win game two on Saturday. Um, so it was a good way to kind of end that series, getting that win after Pittsburgh mm -hmm. had had a big win in game three of the series. And we knew that uh, their best effort would, would, you know, probably be on Saturday with uh, Tim Brown pitching. He's he's a all conference type type pitcher for Pitt State, and so, and uh, you know, again though, when you look back, you want to win the series, and we were able to do that. Your uh, pitcher who pitched and got the win Saturday against Pittsburgh, C.J. Maffei. Um, talk about his performance. He's got seven wins this year in that game. He had ten strikeouts to a complete game for you. He's been really, really good in the last handful of outings. Yeah, he's just been outstanding his last five or six outings. I think he uh, he uh, only gave up uh, he gave up an earned run on on Saturday, and I think that's the first earned run he's given up in something like 32 innings. So he's just been great. He throws strikes. He he's uh, he's got a good changeup, and his breaking ball is coming around and. You know, the big thing is he competes real hard and throws strikes, and so uh, he's just been outstanding for us. So right now, as we, f as we shoot this interview, um, you guys have a busy week this week. Um, you're 26 and 14, 18 and 8 in the MIAA, in a great spot. Top four teams in the conference go to the conference tournament. You guys are sitting in third place by yourself. You're ahead of Central Missouri. Um, just talk about where you are in the standings, how good you feel about uh, where you are right now. Obviously, you have to feel pretty good. Well, I think so, but, you know, we'll we try not to think about that. We try to evaluate us at the end. But, you know, I think we're, we're playing well. We're competing hard. And, uh, you know, we just try to worry about ourselves and, and take care of business. And um, I think our program is progressing, and I feel, feel good about that part of it. But, you know, we got, we got some, you know, 10 conference games left and, and uh, some things we got to, you know, take care of business. And if we're able to take care of business and keep competing like we are, uh, we'll, we'll, we feel good about where we'll be at the end. You mentioned that your program's progressing. I just looked this up before we came on. Last year, you had 16 wins in the conference. This year, you already have 18 with 10 games left to go. You had 19 overall wins this year with, I think, 15 games overall. You have some non-conference games sprinkled in there. You already have uh, you had 19 wins last year, 26 this year. So it is progressing. And and what's the reason for that? Obviously, better players. You have sure. more depth, but yeah. but what else can you point uh, to? I think the key is is players. Quite frankly, I mean, recruiting is so, is so important, and our players have performed when they've uh, been given the opportunity. And and the other thing is that hopefully that you know they're buying into the work ethic and the mentality that we want as coaches uh, for them to bring to the ballpark each day. But we feel good about you know the direction we're headed. But at the same time, you know we got a lot of a lot of ball left to play, and and uh, hopefully. Um, you know, we can continue to play well. Um, we, we talked about offense earlier. You have eight guys currently hitting over 300. Um, that's, that's remarkable mm -hmm. for, for this far into the season, and you can have eight guys hitting over 300. Zach Caldwell um, is hitting 400, but it's just not one guy. I mean, we look at Derek Ezels leading the team in RBIs, Kenny Hart's leading the team in home runs, so it's not just one or two guys. Right. It's, a, it's a handful, eight guys that are hitting over 300. Right. And, 
A lot of guys are really contributing. Yeah, and I think the only guy not hitting over 300 is Kenny Hart. He's 285. Yeah, and he's got like eight that. eight home runs or yeah. seven home runs. Eight so. home runs. Yeah. But I mean, that's just part of uh, you know a good team. When when somebody doesn't hit, hopefully somebody else will. And and uh, you mentioned Zach Caldwell and Derek Ezell. Those guys have been so consistent uh, for us all year, basically. And then Juan Hernandez is. Kind of been the key to, I, I believe, our offense picking it up because uh, he's a senior that got off to a real slow start, and we expected, quite frankly, more of him. And he's he's come around the last three weeks, and he's been uh, he's been great for us the last three or four weeks. And and uh, Caldwell's been great at the top of the order, getting on base, and and so, you know, and then we've had a little we got a little pop at the bottom bottom end with Trent Owens and uh, uh, Justin Beal, and so, yeah, I mean, offensively we've been good, but you know, the name of the game is pitching and defense, and. And you mentioned C.J. Maffei, Carter Lance has pitched real well, and, and Ryan Verfitt has pitched real well. And so, you know, we got, uh, you know, we got four, four guys that we feel pretty good about, and then our bullpen's been good for us too. So Yeah, uh, Carter's 6-1 and one on the season, so you feel like you, the pitching depth is there for this final stretch here? We hope so, and, you know, you hope to remain injury-free. And, and the big thing with pitching, if you can get, get them into the fifth or sixth inning, that just makes things so much easier in a four-game series. If they've got to come out early, it's tough tough in a four-game series on your bullpen and just on your pitching staff in general, but they've done real well. You guys have a long stretch where you're playing games at home. Um, you play Missouri S&T, hopefully this, this week, weather permitting, um, and then Northwest comes in. But I'm going to look ahead a little bit past that, and I know you don't want to talk about this, but Emporia State's coming up at the end of this month. They're on top of the conference. They've got three conference losses. They're very good. So do um, you talk about your guys about that? Hey, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's Let's worry about what the task at hand, that kind of thing. Yeah, we, we just kind of try to keep our head down and try to keep improving. I mean, we talk a little bit about our impo- uh, opponents with our players and scouting reports and all those things. But, you know, we really try to worry about ourselves. We try to pick the ball up and throw strikes, and, and uh, those things keep you in ball games. And, if, you, you know, you mentioned Emporia State, and that's just the perfect example of, of what I just said. They've been, you know, the last five or so years, them in uh, Emporia and Central Missouri have been the class of our league. And, and that's a recipe for winning baseball games. You can kind of just copy those guys pitching and defense, and those guys have, have been right on as far as that goes. Um, do, you, do you guys talk about the conference tournament? Because mm-hmm. it's been a while since yeah. Southern has been to the conference and tournament. You guys are in a great spot. You're ahead of Central Missouri. You're in, you're in a pretty good spot now to make that conference tournament. You know, I, I don't necessarily talk about it with the players, but, uh, you know, some of these guys that have been around, like Juan Hernandez yeah. and some of these guys, Jeff Ketchmar, that have been around for a while. One of our assistant coaches, Nick Tuck, has, has been around. And, and uh, you know they've mentioned how how great it would be or what accomplishment it would be for us to get to the conference tournament. But you know we we again just try to take it day by day and and uh, have a workmanlike mentality and hopefully those things will work out for us. Okay, we're kind of wrapping up on time here. One final question is that uh, you're in this midst where you're playing a lot of games at home. What it, so you don't have to worry about these long road trips mm-hmm. or anything like that for now. Um, so it is important to, to keep playing well, especially when you're at home and you have these big games coming up in the next two weeks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we had, a, I think, a 14-game road tr- road swing or whatever yeah. you want to call it before uh, these home games. And so it, it is important to play well, and hopefully the weather's good. And, yeah. and uh, you know, we had a great crowd on Saturday with the nice weather, and hopefully, you know, Wednesday we'll have a, a good crowd, a 6 o'clock game. You know, hopefully the weather will – sun will come out and cooperate with us. But, you know, again – I mean, we just want to continue to compete, and uh, if we do that, we'll be in good shape. Okay, well, Northwest Missouri comes into town this weekend at Joe Becker, and good luck this weekend against them and the rest of the way as well, and hopefully continued success for the Southern Baseball Squad. Thank you. All right, that's Missouri Southern Head Baseball Coach Bryce Starnell. I'm Bruce Vonderhaar. This is Take 10, Joplin Schools and the Joplin Globe. You're watching it on Jet 14 as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.